Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be a game in Alcyone featuring Maru and Dark from the finals of GSL Season 2 2024. Bottom left, it's going to be Dark. Top right, it's going to be Maru. So, a ZVT for you today. Most popular matchup on the channel, I feel like. So, let's go ahead and see if Dark can kick down Amaru, or Amaru can overcome a Dark. Eh? <laughs> anyway, what's the play gonna be here, man? We can open up, ooh, maybe a 2 racks Reaper opening into expansion here against Dark. That is a Beyond build, but... Other Terrans do it sometimes against Zerg, and a hatch first here from Dark. Not, uh, ooh, there we go. It's going to be a proxy barracks opening here. First barracks walling off, second barracks right next to the gold minerals. Overlord does not scout it, but so, 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 so close to scouting it. All right, Dark, you're going to see a Reaper earlier than usual. What are you going to do? How are you going to react? Slowlings are basically too late. Queens are too late. But we will see how Dark responds to it, and Zerg players can copy it. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, Extractor Pool opening. Nope, Hatch Pool opening. And Extractor Delayed. Ah, the drone scouted it. Wait a second. We're drone scouting now? Why? What set the alarm bells off? What? Dark! What dark magic do you have? Oh, maybe it's in the name. Dark. Dark magic. <laughs> I know... I know this is the finals, but wow! He scouted the proxy racks with a drone? Never in a million years would I have guessed that! <laughs> uh, uh, too late to go ahead and kill the SCV building the barracks, but that's why. That's why he threw up the spawning pool with no gas here. Holy smokes. I guess just being super, super duper safe. Huh. Huh. So now when people tell me Zergs do not drone scout at the higher levels, I can point them to this replay and say, Aha! Sometimes they do, and sometimes they find a proxy barracks. <laughs> Alright, so Reaper name is Soon from Yannick. It is Soon, because soon your drones will be dead. Alright, see now Slowlings are out. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is Oh! Dude! You lost a Reaper to Slow Lings, Maru? Turn in your Terran card immediately! What the heck was that? This is such a weird game. Drone scouting from Dark. Maru losing a Reaper to Slow Lings off creep. That's not supposed to happen. That's never supposed to happen. What is happening right now? What is this game? So it is a two rack Reaper opening with the expansion behind it, like we've seen this before. But this is such a crazy weird variation on it. Oh yeah, yeah, just hop up there, no big deal. Nah, the queens are out. I mean, this is not happening, guy. Just get on out of here, Reapers. You got nothing done. You didn't kill any Zerglings. No drones died at all. Naming yourself soon seems a little presumptuous. Ooh, one Ling died. Hey, great victory. Let's start the parade. Okay, okay, so Maru, ooh, I like this too, expanding and getting a super fast third base. I'm not sure if that started sub three minutes, but it was close. And now, <laughs> the Reapers continue to shark around. Dark finally getting metabolic boost up there in the production tab, and oh, they got a drone, they did it, they got, okay, all right, Maru is salvaging a terrible situation here. By actually, oh gosh, another, okay, all the Reapers are in a lot of trouble. No, he slips out. He gets four drone kills on these Reapers. That's another dead one. That's another d All right, Maru. Okay. KDH charges not kill the sixth drone there, but five drones down. 
Mm, that's way better. Five drones down. Two lings died for two reapers. Acceptable losses. This went a lot better. A lot better on the last minute here for Maru. He needed to salvage the game, and he did. Good on him, man. Roach Warren. Oh, I think I saw just a Roach Warren get canceled. I think he tossed a Roach Warren down. Oh, no, it finished. That's what it was. Haha. <laughs> good, good eyesight there, Falcon. We got this. Scouting a third base here. So this isn't any kind of like a two base Roach Ravager style play. Good scouting is so important here against Dark because he will do weird stuff to you, man. He will go to base on your face. And if you don't want that, you got to scout him. Got to know what's going on. So factory coming in. So we got ourselves the... Wow, not even a starport yet either. Because, again, the super fast orbital command. 1-1 one, one is coming in for the marines and the marauders. And any ghosts that are produced. And a quick fourth base here from Dark 2. He... Interesting. He doesn't know. Like, he doesn't know there's a command center back here. He has no vision on this at all. He has... Oh, I lied! Oh, in the name... Hold on a second. Did he get an overlord in here? Please hold while we discover how he discovered this base exists. How does he know? Oh, this overlord from this angle. All right. There it is. And he even gets away with it, too. Okay. Dark. Mm. Dark's scouting in this game has been glorious. Meanwhile, Reapers end up killing stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Third base going to go down. Fourth base going to go down because he knows about the third base. Ugh, this is incredible. I think he knows this has been lifted off. Pretty sure he's aware that that has happened. Uh, but anyway, God, the Reapers come back around. Get shoved away again. No big deal. Speed's almost done for the Lings. The time of the Reaper is over. And yeah, look at this. Overlord. Just such a happy guy. All right. So that's why the fourth base is coming in. Because the Overlord came in and scouted that third base. Saw it existed. Saw there's really not much that Morrow can do to stop the fourth base from happening. Currently, he has um, eight Marines and two Reapers. So that's not actually an army at all. Cool. Man, Dark is so good at this game. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I got another drone kill. That Reaper has four kills. So at least two of those are drones based on the unit's loss tab. Dude. You know what? We're going to call this guy soon. Oh, he's dead. But soon your drones will be dead. Not wrong. He ends up getting two drone kills, which is dead impressive in 2024 to get two drone kills. These lings. Oh, okay. Well, now there's a move out, maybe. Maybe it's a feint. Maybe we're not actually moving out with 13 Marines and a Reaper, but we want to just make sure there aren't any Lings or Overlords around here. Scout and see what's going on. The Lings need to stay alive. Their job is to see where this army is at all times, not die to it, and see if this is actually a committal to moving out or not. This is tricky to do while you're macroing. I can tell you that from personal experience. Okay. Zelnaga Watchtower is going to help immensely with that. I like that very much. More gas coming in from Maru, throwing down his one, two, three, fourth racks. Cool. How many racks is the man going to toss up here? I don't know. We have to wait and see, but he's definitely on the three bases. Queen's looking good here, hanging out, defending against, you know, incoming marine attacks, incoming Hellion attacks. Yeah, pretty good against marines, Queen's are. Although, if Stim is done and 1-1 one, one is done, it gets a little bit dicier. No medevacs to heal these boys either, though. Where are you going, boys? All right. Well, here goes nothing. Big attack. Ah, the roaches are out there. We saw that roach horn a while ago. So, I don't know, though. Plus one, plus one with no armor or attack upgrades on these roaches. A little bit dicey, but the queen's support was good. Queens are so important at this stage of the game. God, this remaining Reaper has six kills? He did not just kill three drones. This Reaper did not get three drone kills. He did get three drone kills. This game is crazy. During all of the chaos here, he runs a Reaper into the third base, sits it here, does no micro at all, and casually takes down three more drones. This is the crazy... This is one of the craziest EVTs I've ever seen, and we're six minutes into it. 
Wow, the six kill reaper. I don't know how many of these are drones. Maybe all of them are drones. Who no Dude, he gets another one. No way he's allowed to get another one. <laughs> Maru. Maru Reapers are built different, ladies and gentlemen. Finally getting a missile attack and a carapace upgrade here for the roaches and any ravagers that are produced. Marines are like heavily working on 2-2 right now and combat shield, which is late, but no big deal. Yeah, man, Maru's feeling all right. He is. He's really slowed down the economy of Dark here. I mean, I say that, and Dark casually has 67 drones here at seven and a half minutes because, um, oh, that's the wrong button. There you go. Income advantage is still favoring Maru, but not too bad here from Dark. Like, 76 <laughs> workers at seven minutes is fine. We're going to allow it, I think. So despite all the aggression, despite all the drone losses, despite this Reaper getting eight total kills, this is like a Hall of Fame Reaper, guys. This is right up there with Keanu Reaps. I don't know how many of you have been around with me since the beginning of my StarCraft II casting as this drop does come in here. And transfusing, no, denies the ground carapace. Tried to transfuse the evolution chamber to save it, but failed miserably. The damage output on these Marines was too high with the Sim and the plus one. Ooh, carapace upgrade is denied. But anyway, yeah, back when I was casting StarCraft II for the first, you know, year, maybe two years, and I started naming the Reapers here, Back in 2015, 2016, maybe 17, we had an incredible Reaper. I, I'm not sure if it was a pro game or not, but his name was Keanu Reaps. And he ended up getting like five or six kills, and it was like, oh my gosh, this Reaper's incredible. So um, I might go back and find that and link to it in the description here. If you want to see Younger Falcon casting StarCraft 2, back when the Reaper names were new, uh, go ahead and check out that link in the description, and uh, that'll be a fun time. Yeah, back on the original channel, youtube.com slash Falcon Paladin, which was entirely overtaken by Brood War at some point. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, we got Burrow coming in. We got plus two attack on the way, but this is a 2-2 timing attack from Maru. Pro Sabio taking down one of the tanks. Another tank still getting some free hits off here. Roach is busting on in. Ravager's doing damage from the backside as well. The Marine Count seems to be whittled down, but hold on a second. Ravagers, once they start taking hits, are pretty bad. However, more roaches down here. Drance fuses helping immensely, but the roaches are taking so much damage, especially from the Marauders in this group. For Maru, Cross of Bile to take down a Medivac, which is almost unheard of. Reinforcements come cruising on in here, too. For Maru, another tank shows up. This Carapace upgrade does not exist yet. For Dark, it's such a big deal not having that Carapace upgrade against these Marines, especially. But the Queens are making it work. That tank finally gets wiped out. More roaches being produced, 11 at a time. The Carapace upgrade is going to finish at some point here, but not during this battle as Maru is forced to pick up and retreat on out. My gosh, that was an engagement for the ages. GSL finals, man. These guys are all playing as hard as they can and kicking butt and taking the names. Oof, more Marauders being added. Yeah, three Marauders at a time. Two, no, four Marauders at a time. I can just look at the production tab. I don't have to look what the barracks are telling me in the game hard interface. Do I? Nidus. Okay, Nidus. Hive timing. I don't know about coming up this ramp, sir. I appreciate you have a big army. But it's not as big numbers-wise as what Mario is dealing with. Plus, he's got better upgrades. Swarm hosts? No, 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 no. No, this, okay. This is the weirdest ZVT I have maybe ever cast. And that's saying a lot, man. This is such a weird ZVT. Absolutely banana pants ZVT. He's going Swarmhost Nidus against a Terran. I apologize, not a Terran. It is Maru that he is going Swarmhost Nidus against. This doesn't work against Terran. Maybe if they're mecking, you can kind of make it work. But against a Marine Marauder composition, no. Let me tell you, as someone who's tried it against Terran, a bunch, it doesn't work. The damage output from Marines and Marauders is so high, they chew through locusts. Like locusts are made out of tissue paper and confetti. Oh, now we have to make the Swarm Host be defensive because Mara walks across the map. What is happening right now? See, look. See how almost no Marines and Marauders died and now the Swarm Hosts are on cooldown. They're dead supply. Dark's got 120 supply here, but no, he doesn't. 
because these Zoros are nothing. What? <laughs> Dark, what are you doing in a GSL finals match? What is wrong with you? I know you just had a child. Did it kill all of your brain cells temporarily? Look at these swarm hosts. Nothing. Nothing. Hatch goes down. Drones dying all over the place. This game is so stupid. I don't... Oh, God. Oh. Then you pick up and the locusts are like, oh, there's nothing for us to accomplish here. That totally sucks. Then you unload back here. Dodge some pros of vials casually. Kill some more drones. The locusts are like, please let us get some... Ki oh, they killed a marine. Good job, locusts. Good job, Swarm Hosts, in your 41 seconds. You did nothing. You launched a couple locusts. They killed a Marine. <laughs> what was... What was this game? I don't, I don't even... I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this game is. I still can't believe he made Swarm Hosts. I cannot believe at, at the stage of the game, he fired up 14 Swarm Hosts and was like, let's go. Because it's not just that the Marines and the Marauders can kill the Swarm Hosts easily. It's that you can lift buildings. It's that if you do this on an orbital base, the base just goes whoop, and all the SCVs run away for a minute, and then you land the base, and the SCVs come back, and everyone's cool. Against Protoss and Zerg, you can't lift your buildings. You can't. So, it's great. You burn down the hatchery, or the hive, or the nexus, and everybody is sad except for you because you did the swarm host thing, and it's fantastic. But against Terran, it is so bad. It is so bad. It makes no sense. I cannot remember the last time I saw a Zerg player make Swarm Host against Terran. I can't. I can't. Like, there was this era where locusts started out on the ground. The Swarm Host went bloop, plopped out the locusts. They went do -do 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 across the ground. And they were really good against Mecking Terran. Right? Mecking Terran was a big deal in Heart of the Swarm back forever ago, like 10 years ago now. And, yeah, we had these two-hour-long games where the Zerg would launch Swarm Host at a Terran. Bloop, bloop, and then the Terran tanks would go, and they would all die, and then we'd do it again. And it took forever, and it was super annoying, so they chain Swarm Host to launch into the air, give them wings, and then they land on the target. Which actually makes them worse, because you can shoot them while they're in the sky, and they can't fire back, and they can't shoot air stuff. Anyway, point is, point is, I don't know, players like still tried to make Swarm Host work against Terran after that change. So... There's this little era where, yes, flying locusts were kind of common against Terran, but then we realized they suck, and we stopped doing it. And, like, that, that, that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at what point Dark was like, we need to do this. Why? Why? Why in the name of Fergus McDudson? I... <sighs> I just don't understand it. It's very, very funny. Like, I laughed so hard. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Dude, and this game started with dark drone scouting, finding a proxy. Reaper's getting a ton of economic damage done here today. An overlord scouts the third base coming from all the way over this direction. Scouts it had no right to do that whatsoever. And then in all of this weirdness, Dark decided to make swarm hosts. He never even got to launch them on the other side of the map because Maru moved out with a timing attack and killed him. And swarm hosts, even against Protoss and Zerg, are bad if you have to defend with them. They are the worst unit in the game if you have to defend with them. Because what do you do? You launch the swarm host, and the enemy goes, okay, I'll go somewhere else for like 10 seconds, and all your locusts expire, bleh. And then you have, again, about 40 supply of dead nothing while you're waiting for the locust to launch again, and you can't hold because 40 supply of army means that your active army who can actually do stuff is too small, and everything dies. I... Pfft. 
I cannot believe this game happened in the GSL finals. I just, I don't. I cannot understand it. So, man. All right. So that is, um, <laughs> that's a GG, I guess. I don't know. I kind of want to post this on the original channel to be like, look how weird StarCraft 2 is right now. Uh, maybe I'll do that. I do that. Try to do that every month. Try to catch the people who f didn't realize that I'm still casting StarCraft 2 and didn't come over to the new channel. Anyway, GG, man. Good stuff. Maru takes the win here in GSL finals against Dark. It's a map off him in a... He's like, what? I'm sure Maru is shaking his head like, what is this? What is this, Dark? Do you not respect me enough? Do you not respect me enough? D just like, d why are you making swarm hosts? Why are you not just making banelings and stuff? Be normal. Why can't you be normal? Kid in the backseat. That's what that that's what that game was. Alright. Uh GG. And that's gonna be it for me today. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.